and welcome to my channel Distinctive Crochet. My name is Priscilla and I would like to thank all of my new subscribers for coming to check me out and all of my returning subscribers for spending some time with me. Okay, so this is April 12th and I'm still participating in VEDA which is video every day in April and I was working on uh, a top from Doris Chan Convertible Crochet which is the Titan top and it's done! Yay! It is done, guys. I went ahead and finished the slip stitch ribbing. I um, got all my ends woven in and I finally was able to block it. So I'm going to go ahead and insert some pictures of the before and after of the blocking so that you guys can see um, what difference it makes because it does make a difference. So I'm going to go ahead and take you to those pictures and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, here is my unblocked top. As you can see, the stitches are pretty close together, but we're going to fix that in a minute. And here is the top all blocked out. The stitches are nice and open and it looks so beautiful guys. All right, I wanted to try this on just for you so you can see the before. This is the top I created four years ago. It's too tight at the waist and the top is way overstretched. I think I killed the fabric in the dryer. Oh no. All right, and this is my new top guys. It looks so awesome. I'm super excited. And as you can see, I kind of have the ribbing put up over my waist and the top just drapes over. But there's also another way I wanted to show you guys how I might wear it. And here is the top where the ribbing is stretched down a little bit longer. And then um, you can see this, the, the stitch pattern a little bit better. So if you want guys, you can comment down below and let me know which way do you um, think I should wear it. With it bloused up or stretched down. I'm excited! I finished! Yay! Okay guys, and I'm back. I'm so excited. I finished my top. And I just want to thank you all again for coming on this journey with me for this um, VEDA challenge I was doing. Y'all saw it from the very start. Even helped me choose the color. And now we made it all the way here to the end. So it took me about, I think it's... Um, 11 days only because I had to block it today other than that like the work actually would have been about 10 days uh, to go ahead and complete this top um, but I am so super excited that it's done it fits and I like it so much so I want to thank you guys again for joining me on this journey but guess what guys beta's not done yet so I'm not either I have another project I'm working on and some of you might already know what it is but I'm going to show you anyway. So here it is here and this is the All Showed Up Poncho by Dana from Creatively Created Crochet um, and if you don't know guys I do have a giveaway going on right now for um, one of her patterns so uh, go check that out. The video is labeled must see video. Okay, so you guys want to go ahead and check that out if you don't know about the giveaway. Okay, so that's what I'm going to be working on and I have all my stuff in my new project bag. <laughs> I popped in uh, the video that I uploaded today. Today is Sunday guys when I'm filming this and I popped in my video today to show you guys my bag. So this is a um, a t-shirt bag um, that I just made really quick. It was a really quick project, and I'll leave the link down below for the video tutorial that I followed. And um, I, I couldn't wait to start it, guys. So I just went through my stash and see what I could find. I didn't have the um, yarn that it called for. It does call for a worsted weight, though, <clears throat> which I have plenty of. It just didn't seem like I had the right color because um, she used like an ombre color. And so, no ombre. I didn't have any. So, what I decided to use was this. Um, it's this yarn here. It's the Red Heart Stardust in the color of purple. And I'm going to bring it up a little see if you can see that sparkle. Yeah, you can see it. 
it's got a little sparkle in there and it's kind of like a tonal purple like it has um, some lighter purples and darker purples and then like a little bit of gray in there with the sparkle so I thought that would be a really pretty color to use and so this is actually a fingering weight yarn let me see if I can find yeah it's a super fine number one um, and it is let's see 70% superwash wool and 25% nylon and 5% other fibers which is probably the sparkly bit but um yep so I'm actually using three strands at one time um, I know there's other techniques that you can use that you don't have to use three strands but um, they came three in a pack <laughs> so I was just counting it as like uh, like one bag would be one ball of yarn so and then I just opened the bag up and then pulled the strand out so it just it was easy like that for me so I just decided to do like that um, so let me show you my progress on it because I couldn't wait to start it so so far I just have the collar done and so let me see you can see a little bit of sparkle in if I tilt it back yep but um and it's really like the uh yeah it looks okay on here but you can you know when you crochet your your stitches lean a little bit to one side so mine are it seems like it's really leaning in this pattern i checked i did check the count <laughs> and i haven't missed any stitches but it still seems to be leaning a bit but um it's not gonna really make a difference so this is all I have done so far. I'm going to keep working on this and um, this will be the new project that I'm working on. So that will be what, you'll, what you guys will be coming back and seeing my progress on is this all showed up poncho here. But that's all I have done so far on that. And um, once again, I hope you enjoyed my progress on my Titan top. And thank you again for following my journey on that. But that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you come and follow me once more for my journey on this um, All Shut Up Poncho project that I'll be working on. And um, that's it, guys. So I will see you in the next one. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks again for watching.